Hello, this is Onyx Tarot by Aubrey, and today I'm going to be doing a love message for Scorpio. So thank you all so much for hitting the like button. I really do appreciate it, and it is super helpful to my channel. Let's go ahead and do a love message for Scorpio. All right, so we have seduction. All right, attraction, flirting, dating, hooking up, temptation, third-party interference. I like you, someone likes you, romance is blooming, fun flirting, wants to date, and then you have self-indulgent. Focus on self, self-worth, time to heal, shadow work, and self-appreciation. Bottom of the deck is passion, instant chemistry, like each other, equally having fun. So it's just like really, really good. Okay. So let's see what's going on here. Okay. So, um, you could be seduced by someone or seducing someone, but this is somebody who you really, really like, um, somebody you're going to be very attracted to, or you're already very attracted to this person. Um, this is somebody who really does like you. They want to date you. They're going to ask you for some type of commitment, um, or loyalty very soon on. But also we have self-indulgence. So there's some type of self-worth. Um, issue that this person has, time to heal, shadow work that they need to do. So let's clarify self-indulgence. All right, so we have the Page of Swords, Nine of Wands reverse, the Devil reverse, and the Sun in reverse. Okay, so this is someone who, yeah, they have a lot going on. So you could have a lot of fun with this person. Um, this is somebody who within your relationship with them it's triggering within their relationship with you it's triggering them to do better this person is looking into things that they never have looked into as far as therapy self-worth um insecurity shadow work um them liking you basically is triggering them um and bringing up like all their past things that they have went through um, this could be a Sagittarius or somebody with Sagittarius and their sun, moon, or rising, Capricorn, uh, Leo, but it could literally be any sign. But yeah, this, the relationship with you, like they feel so strongly about you that it is making them basically kind of either act out in a way or be insecure or, you know, possessive or be unhappy or whatever the case is. So... I feel like nine of wands reverse the devil reverse you're gonna have to wait for this person to really like work through their issues until you see the relationship completely thrive but with passion at the bottom of the deck i see that it will over time but what you don't see is that this person they're dealing with a lot they're they really are dealing with a lot of like unhappiness that has happened based on what happened to them in the past. So this person's going to be offering you information on things that they have went through in their past, okay, that maybe will help you better understand them, especially Ten of Cups reverse and an old family situation or old relationship dynamic that really affected the way that they see the way that they see things and the way that they see relationships, okay? Um, let's see what flip. Ace of Wands, okay. Yeah. But I feel like, again, when this person communicates this with you, you'll know that they're not stuck in the past, but more so you'll know specifically that, like, they are still triggered from the things that have happened to them in the past, okay? All right, so um, how does this person feel about Scorpio? All right, so we have Six of Cups reverse, Two of Swords reverse, Nine of Cups. Bottom of the deck is the Eight of Wands. Okay, so this person feels like you, um, you're different than somebody they would usually date. Um, you know, maybe they usually dated this type of person or that type of person or people that lived in their city or their hometown or whatever, whatever the case is, um, you are definitely much different, um, in a good way, 
two of swords in reverse they feel like you chose them from different options or you chose them instead of being single or you, they feel like you're choosing them you made some type of hard decision to put your time energy and effort into building and cultivating a relationship with them they also feel like you're like you're the boss like you have a lot of trophies you're very happy with yourself um they feel like you are they're proud to show you off uh, whatever you do for work makes them really happy and really proud of you and proud to even be in your life okay and then the eight of wands this is somebody who feels like they want to move really 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 fast with you um they like how fast you communicate back to them they like the level of communication and the speed that things are going as well okay how does scorpio feel about this person How do you feel about this person? Judgment, the full reverse, five of wands, and the chariot. Okay. So Scorpio, uh, you feel that this is somebody who you may feel like, you know, the universe sent this person to you. You may also feel like you made a good decision being with this person. And you may feel like this person has additionally made really good decisions in their life. Um, the full in reverse, the more that this person shares with you, you may realize how much they have been taken advantage of in their life uh, by either being naive, being willing to jump into things and in relationships and contracts or whatever the case is. Um, you may also feel like this person may be a little bit argumentative or you may feel like they have different options or different people around them. Um, but whatever it is, is stemming from where they've been taken advantage of in the past okay because because it's next to the fool in reverse bottom of the deck the chariot you may you may be at a distance from this person a little bit or you may feel like this is a very determined person so when you learn about or you've already learned about things that you um this person has been through in their life you'll be really shocked to see how determined they are so you feel like this person wants you they're gonna have you they're gonna do whatever <laughs> they want uh whatever they need to do to make the relationship work with you okay and this includes again shadow work okay and healing okay so what is the final outcome all right final outcome we have the temperance in reverse hangman in reverse nine of pentacles reverse and bottom of the deck is the world in reverse interesting hmm interesting so let's see for the final outcome, I feel like you, I don't know. I feel like you're going to be dealing with this person. This is somebody who's going to try their very best and their hardest to work through their insecurities, okay? Um, but at the same time, you, hmm, yeah, I don't know. I feel like you're going to end up backing away from this person or talking to them less for a little bit the hermit because this is somebody who they know what they need to do to make a relationship work and to be in a healthy relationship but at the same time I feel like this is somebody who they uh, they need I don't want to say they need like actual help but like they can't they can't help themselves so for instance like if this is somebody who is insecure and they may feel like you know i really like you you really like all these things about them right but like and vice versa but they may be like i'm just afraid that i'll get cheated on again and it's like um have i ever showed you signs that i would cheat on you no but you know i just you know went through this and this relationship and that one and it really scarred me and it's like that kind of thing like i feel like it's going to be hard for them to change without actually doing the self self work if that makes sense hangman in reverse is the ten of cups interesting yeah so i feel like you could be really happy with this person and they're already really happy with you but again i feel like you end up not listening to this person anymore and their assurances because you know better the higher fun so you may really feel guided to withdraw from this person or to go on a break from this person or to again like stop talking to them as much or to like slow things down because 
you may feel like this person is really not in the right they're not they haven't healed from things that are going to they're going to basically make you pay for them. so i feel like again page of pentacles uh reverse clarifying the the nine of pentacles in reverse you may be the one that like stops the show with this person because of their own insecurities and then the world is in reverse okay so clarifying that is the six of pentacles so things i this is what i feel the relationship's going to be like on a halt or a hold for a while um more so until they can equally give to you now this may be interesting because we have seduction i like you you know passion all these things right this person may be a great person very generous very loving very caring uh but at the same time if they are withholding their if they are projecting things onto you that automatically makes them like not balanced and not fair because you're having to overcompensate for their past experiences okay so let's get advice for scorpio but thank you for hitting the like button advice for scorpio All right, Knight of Pentacles reverse, the Lovers reverse, Magician reverse, and bottom of the deck is the Empress. Beautiful. So, yeah, your advice is this. Um, I would withhold moving forward from this person just for a little while. And the Lovers reverse, um, you may, again, go on a break from this person, um, you know, kind of just hold things back, separate from this person. And then the Magician reverse, I feel like you, this is a situation where you may... Mm. I don't know yeah so you may tell them that like you know you may tell them why I feel like it's not a situation where you're keeping your options open but this is a situation where uh you're kind of allowing this person to work on themselves if that makes sense like you I feel like if you kind of like push to you know you both being equal and balanced and kind of like being honest about it like then it ends up working out because the empress is here you you don't deserve anything less than somebody who is equally going to um be where they need to be for you okay or vice versa what came out though is the three of cups you guys will get back together i feel like this break or separation will just be like short like three weeks or three months that kind of thing okay with the three of cups here but i definitely see that this is a long-term connection for you but again i think it's good to set boundaries with this person and make sure that they're in the right place so that you don't kind of come up with the same come up into the same issues but you're in a more serious uh, relationship down the line with this person okay so definitely feel free to let me know your thoughts i do hope this was helpful if it was thank you for hitting the like button and subscribing if you want to see all of the extended videos for scorpios feel free to check that out on my patreon and otherwise thank you guys so much for watching